In this episode, I will repair this beautiful Rolls-Royce Wraith. This car had some problems. One of the problems is with the iDrive controller. iDrive controller won't take all the commands. Another problem is with the electronic height control. The electronic height control on this car won't work and the electronic height control control unit won't respond on the diagnosis equipment. And another problem is with the uh, electric trunk lid opener. The electric trunk lid opener won't work and we need to see why. In this episode, we will repair only the iDrive controller. The height control and the trunk lid will be in the future episodes. So enough is the talking and let's dive in. Okay, now on the error side, you can see here the electronic height control uh, unit won't respond. The controller for the iDrive is responding and the electronic um, tailgate opener is responding but with error. Now you can see here, this is the iDrive controller and these are the commands that are not working if I push it works back option cd radio menu but this don't work okay this is working option and so on i need to remove this to remove the iDrive controller we need to open this too we need to pull up this switch easy and clean this one the same easy and clean and now the iDrive controller have four screws with T20 screwdriver T20 type of screws And after that, we can take out the beautiful iDrive controller. Someone have been in here. Not good. Thank you. 
Okay, now. After one hour of researching this controller, I have found something. Okay, after my research, here I have 5 volts. Here I have 5 volts. Okay, uh, this is the ground. Here I need to have 5 volts also. I don't have it. I have it 1.9 volts. This is the trace. This is the first, uh, first trace of here. This is the first. And it's coming from here. Oh. Okay. I have found my problem. Is this Kilohms. I don't believe you. Okay, this is the board. Let me see. This is the plug. This is the trace. This here, here, and this is the part five. R1 5R1 and 5R1 it's a 5.1 ohms I don't have the exactly 5.1 ohms I will use a resistor of 10 ohms it will do the job Not too great, not too terrible. It's live. Okay. You now the moment of testing. This will go this way. And this it will go in this way. Okay. <laughs> it works. Let me show you. Um, one second. Opa. <laughs> nice. Okay, now I'll put everything back.
<laughs> it's working. And this is a successful repair. But my recommendation for the owner will be to replace the iDrive controller with a brand new one in the near future. I hope you like this video. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to ask me something, use the comment section down below. And why not subscribe? Stay in the area, don't go too far, because soon you will see a new episode with this beautiful car. Until then, stay awesome.